Hey guys, Lincoln Parks here, and I want to thank you for joining me today um, on this quick uh, overview. What I wanted to talk about really was Google authorship. This is something that uh, that's that's exploding onto the scene right now. I know there's so many social media so, uh, social media aspects out there. So if you're using Google Plus along with um, Google authorship, and you also have a blog, what this does is, as you can see here um, with this gentleman, um, if you write any content. This is going to show out there on the uh, on the on the internet. If anybody searches for your specific keywords or whatever have you, then it's going to show your photo here as well. Previously, and this is some um, updates that Google did. Uh, they wanted to create authorship to know that it's coming directly from the person who who said that um, um, that's actually written that content. So what you want to do is you want to go to plus.google.com forward slash authorship that's going to bring you to this page right here and then what you can do here now for your specific domain say your blog you know for example my blog is lincolnparks.com um, or whatever the name of your blog is you can put your email in here okay you, so I can put in lincolnparks at uh, well my email is lincoln at lincolnparks Dot com right and what that's going to do that's going to show any content that I post from my blog with that domain that's going to show my photo there as well so that is really huge for local SEO or SEO search engine optimization that you're using for your um, for your business your blog or whatever it is you have now check this out also if you do not uh, have a blog you can link this to your Google Plus page so any content that you put out there you can link that to your Google Plus page and all you have to do is click right here so you can make sure you link that uh, to your Google Plus page and it shows you exactly how to do that now it requires you to do some a little bit of coding here um, that to set up your authorship but I want to show you a quick secret I, a quick little tip that I want to show you but look at you can you can do here link your content to Google Plus um, by providing or verifying using a verified email address option number two is set up authorship by linking your content to your Google Plus profile and you just follow these steps right here it's really simple you know all you have to do is create a link on your page and make sure that this code is in there it's really simple to do that's going to be another video that I'm probably going to shoot uh, and show you exactly how to do that um, and just follow these instructions and these instructions will get you working or if you have a blog uh, and this is what I want to show you this is uh, something something new that I've been using here um, on my blog and I want to show this to you guys you can see I have quite a few blogs open here um, but uh, I wanted to I wanted to show you guys something really quick um, if you're using a blog and let me let me go back here and log in so that uh, I can get to the right page here uh, I didn't want to show Abraham Lincoln but um, I guess that'll work <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go here so we can go into my blog and that way you can see this plugin this plugin is so awesome I just wanted to show you guys this plugin and uh, I'm gonna scroll down here and here's the plugin it's called SEO SEO from Yoast so uh, Yoast SEO plugin you wanna make sure that you get that I know a lot of people have probably been using all-in-one SEO plugin but guys let me tell you this plugin is phenomenal so if you want to do this automatically and tie in your Google authorship into your page, you want to make sure that you're using, go ahead and get the Yoast WordPress SEO plugin. If you've already been using All-in-One or some other um, SEO plugin, you can, you can disable that and you can actually import any metadata from uh, um, uh, the, those other plugins into this. So I want to just show you really quick. I mean, you can go through this tour right here and, and, and get started. But I wanted to show you some things really quick. Webmaster Tools. This is going to help you out. If you don't know anything about Webmaster Tools, make sure you click on these links and set up your Webmaster Tools. Also, um, this plugin can actually do some of that for you. So let's go ahead and click here. Let's click on Titles and Metas. This is, this is really really important um, once you once you get this installed and get this going and this is gonna what's gonna use this to tie into your SEO and make sure that your search engine optimization is, is great so you click on the home tab here you can go through some of these titles if you want to but click on the home tab okay what you want to make sure you have is your description and also a meta description 
you could type that in right there now this is the thing remember w on the Google authorship page where it showed that you can actually uh, link this up to your page well this plugin does it for you and 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 th it's so phenomenal because look what it has there author metadata okay and the highlighting author who's the author which is going to be you because you're one of the users on on this blog you're the admin you choose your name and then Google publisher page you go to your 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 Google Plus page right go to your Google Plus page this is my about page copy that URL and once you copy that URL go ahead and plug that right in this spot right here and save it guys that's it it's just that simple I mean it's just that simple as as putting that in there that's gonna go ahead and tie it to your 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 um your Google authorship uh, page so now when you post anything on the internet uh, I mean, it's so phenomenal. It's going to go out there. It's going to show your picture, show that you're the author of this content, and that creates more credibility for you as a business owner and also um, as a blogger or whatever it is. And we're going to be revealing some things coming up here in the in the near future um, uh, for bloggers as well. But go through the rest of these tabs, guys. Check out everything. Make sure you go and uh, look at the uh, j tutorials. Check out the Yoast um SEO plugin. I hope you download it. I hope you uh, like the Google authorship stuff. It's, it's really, really important. It's going to help boost your SEO, help you get out there on the internet. And um, we're going to be going uh, through this and breaking this down a lot more because there's, there's a lot of things that are changing rapidly um, with Google and we want to take advantage of that. So this is Lincoln Parks, guys. Thanks for uh, joining me real quick. And uh, I hope you go out and do this because uh, this is going to help you out. And um, help you get going oh and one other thing guys if you haven't followed me on Google Plus uh, circle me on Google Plus please go ahead and do that circle me on Google Plus uh, circle my uh, my my business also and um, so we can connect out there because Google Plus is the is the way to go all right talk to you guys soon take care bye bye